The beginning of my trip to Taiwan was spent in the energized, hyper-urban city of Taipei. But our United States Tour Operators Association member Ritz Tours showed me a whole new face of Taiwan, the glorious and tropical countryside. We boarded a train at Taipei's main station, and in no time at all, we were hurtling through beautiful landscapes and small villages. Our destination was Hualien, a suburban city near the sea. Ritz Tours put us up in the Grand Parkview Hotel in Hualien City. The expansive grounds of this hotel were a calming retreat from the hustle and bustle of Taipei, and a very popular vacation oasis for the locals. From here, we toured the lush landscape of Hualien County, which is known for its beaches. We were able to stop and cool off in the refreshing aqua waters. I could have spent all day just hanging out on the beach, but off we went to check out more of the culture. A, a tour bus is a, a very convenient way of uh, discovering and exploring Taiwan because uh, not every place is reachable by rail or, or by plane. And I introduce them to, uh, to the culture and to civilization and also tell them about things that are not necessary in any tour guide's books. Stone carving is a popular craft in Taiwan, and USTOA member Ritz Tours took us to a jade factory in the Hualien region, where we learned all about the mining and carving of this exquisite local stone. However, what this region is most famous for is the Taroko Gorge. The Taroko Gorge attracts visitors from all over because it's naturally stunning. Though we can't see the gorge due to damage from a recent storm, we can see the beautiful gate that leads into the national park and leads you to the gorge. We still were able to explore part of the Taroko National Park, and there I was impressed with a very unique temple. A must-see is the Shrine of the Eternal Spring, and just getting there is an adventure. You walk along the cliff, through caves and past waterfalls, and once you arrive at the temple, you can see why this place is sacred. The shrine is located at Changchun Falls in the Taroko National Park, a natural waterfall that never stops running. Ornate and bright, this temple is incorporated organically right into the cliffside. And the spiritual experience is felt by walking through the shrine, being splashed by the waters, and revering its special vantage point. Because Taiwan has a tropical and subtropical climate, the fruit here is incredible. And right now, it's cherry molia season. And this crazy looking fruit, I had to try it. You peel off the sides, and you dig out this flesh inside, and it's so sweet. It's kind of like a mango. If you see a fruit stand, definitely stop and stock up. I thought Taipei was immense, but this island nation has so much going on, both big and small, urban and rural. My experience opened my eyes to the charming and pastoral side of Taiwan.